happen, ladies and gentlemen. This is gold that I'm feeding you. Uh, Anthony Kerr, last seen in a supple gold latex bodysuit and clear, announced that they are getting married on New Year's Eve. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> We're still encouraging them to have a little bit of a practice run here on the beach in Fiji. She's looking for a Fijian Elvis as we speak. Uh, Reese and his wife, uh, Kirsty, unfortunately Reese couldn't be here. They've just had their third child, a boy called Tom, uh, which is why they can't be here. So greetings to all of our South Australian franchisees. Uh, where are they? They're here somewhere. Good night, guys. No, I, love, I, love, I know you're expecting that, that I'm going to give a hard time to South Australia, but I'm not. I love South Australia. I honestly do. I go there every year just to get refunds on my bottles. So it's good. It's good that you guys are here. Um, what else happened in the year gone by? Dirk represented Howard's at the uh, Soccer World Cup in South Africa. So well done. Well done there. Uh, Eli from Canberra opened a new store in Fishwick, which means that, ladies and gentlemen, you can now buy other things from Fishwick apart from the ones that come in the brown paper bags. Gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Gerard moved his store from Frankston to Mornington. And really, you can blame somebody for doing that. Uh, so well done there. Ian and Gay moved from Werribee to Helensvale in Queensland. Jeff and Bronwyn's daughter got married. Congratulations, our Hobart, Hobart franchisees. Stuart and Sue Ann will soon be opening a second store in Launceston. Uh, I know I've said it before about Tasmania, but I'll say it again. I may love Tasmania. I may love South Australia, as I said, but I honestly love Tasmania. Really, 500,000 people, 12 surnames. It's a wonderful state. So it's good to have Stuart and Sue Ann here. We also opened a new store at Artaman, Shepparton, uh, Getzcross in South Australia internationally. We've got Better Luck, Scotland, Bangalore in India. Uh, other Howard's news, Janita tells me that Don Panetta lost the Sydney Pub Trivia Contest last week by one point. Now, as you've seen uh, in Darren's presentation, we did actually run the Pub Trivia Quizzes, so that was amazing for me to hear that Dom almost won the Sydney Pub Trivia Contest, but he lost by one point. Apparently, he not only got the last question wrong, but following that, he was immediately escorted out of the pub. The question was, where do women have the curliest hair? Apparently, the correct answer is Fiji. <laughs> Don was escorted from the pub. Uh, it's an oldie but a goodie. Uh, new franchisees, first time conference attendees, the games. I think Barry has been before, but it's Agnetta's uh, first time. Are they in the room? They've got to be here. Welcome. Please give them a round of applause. First time. Uh, we also have Elise. Uh, Elise, I've never been able to pronounce your or, or your mum's surname, Gorka. I just call you Elise Gorgeous. We'll call you the Gorgeous family. Where are the Gorgeous family? <laughs> the Gorgeouses. So welcome to the Gorgeouses. Uh, they've been involved in uh, Howard's for some time. It is Elise's first conference. Prad and Sandy Southie from Canberra join us first timers. Give us a wave. <laughs> come here. Come sit from, uh, from up here. And a couple of new group office staff as well, first timers. We have Jacqueline Rossler, the uh, Customer Relationship Manager responsible for the rewards program, Inspiration. Uh, been with us for just over a year. Jacqueline, where are you? Yeah, give her a wave on the back. Um, and uh, who else? We've got Juliana Robinson, Assistant Marketing Manager working together with Dom Juliana. Welcome. <laughs> we have also got apologies from the following people who were unable to be here. Uh, Alan Snyder sends his apologies for family reasons. Uh, unfortunately, Alan was not able to be here, but for good reason. Uh, Reese, as I said, changing nappies. Runa couldn't be here, sends his apologies. Ron and Nicole Puxley couldn't be here. And Mel Brand all send their apologies. And uh, I dare say there are other people who would have liked to be here as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is something new that is taking place at the conference this year. And that is that in the spirit of the Share the Spirit theme, we are going to be raising money for Bear Cottage. Uh, you all know about Bear Cottage. You know it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful organisation. And the way that we're going to be raising that money is not voluntarily. We're not going to just ask you to give us money. We're actually going to make you give us money. That's how much we're going to force everybody to share the spirit. And